Why? You know your tunes, Paradigm. Gonna slay so many circuits tonight. Anyway, you can find the floppy disk from a fellow named Space Cadet. That local drug addict guy. Ask Doug outside for some directory duties if you can't remember. Directions? That's what I said. Well, they have to go save the world, I guess. By the tone of your voice, you clearly don't understand the gravity of the situation. I see you ready to chat the honey don't night on your PC. Now shot for personal computer. Ah, yeah. Your honey begins a night set in a smiley face. <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea, dude. Yeah, nah. I figured you wouldn't understand, so I prepared this pipe and mash on Earth for your benefit earlier. Wow, you've really improved on your paper mache craft skills. Great work, John. Cheers, mate. I really appreciate your support of my hobby over the years. Anyway, you say, cops are all the world's radioactive waste is stored under the crush. There is enough radioactive waste under this station for complete annihilation. As you probably know, Krush is world number one in the Brauben economy. Now, pay attention to that red dot. That's us. We can put the on the only thing that you wouldn't talk. Holder. That's the basic gist of the CISO if you don't get that floppy. Except for more nuclear fallout, mutations, people died in agony, pine, suffering, and not screwed on screaming. Isolate humans have like uh, two years to extension if this goes down. Oh, right. I should probably stop that. Piper Mache seems to always reject you, Paradon. You should start selling these online. They're really great. Yeah, nah, 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 yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. One day. But yeah, go see Doug outside for some directory dues to Space Cadet Voice. They said they're going to bed. Twitter at Cornelius, your heart is broken. But don't worry. Your internet loves I have to go return some videotapes. Do you mind picking us up a pack of smokers and a slip of beer? Cheers, mate. Hey, dude, do your How 9000 impression. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. Dave, you're a drongo. You know I can't let you do that. That's just stupid. I really like what you did to your face. What's different? Well, originally, it was a picture of a big phallic object with a smiley face on it. I'll have you to thank for that. Do you ever miss the days when you were just a matchmaking robot? Oh, a little, mate. Although the show was pretty terrible, post-apocalyptic Australia wasn't very pretty. I... Do you mind pictures, mate? Warning. Imminent complete meltdown is imminent. Yeah. I like it when you talk to me dirty, said the AI. It doesn't matter if you're simply awkward to you. You request it be, sir. Yes. I want... I want you to bring me Paradigm. After all this time, you want to bring it back? Yes, we need... We need... <coughs> Have you all returned? <coughs> I'm just going to... Um... <coughs> I'm just going to let my face out. Sometimes I hate you, father. Your insatiable urge for candy turned me into this monstrosity. But don't worry. Your legacy will live on.
I need to give Doug some sort of map first. There must be something around here. There used to be a call to get inside somewhere around here. Then the game designer realized it was a terrible puzzle. He had better things to redesign, like book jokes. John used to be active out here, but uh, I disabled the module because he kept telling passers-by to graffiti the phrase Paradigm sucks balls. Hello, deactivated John 3000 terminal. Something many people don't know about the Messiah, he had some sick hand styles. <sighs> Miniature unicorns fighting flying pugs power station. Naming by public vault is uh, never a good idea. Or is it the best idea? I'm not sure. You'd think the boiler would contain something important for running the power station, but really it's just filled with liters upon liters of vodka. <sighs> Occupational health and safety says anything less than three layers of duct tape is unsafe, but I like to live wild and only use two. Without this duct tape, the whole building would more than likely explode. I'll leave it there just in case. They're toy dials. The measurements on them are... Moopies. I don't think I can use this for much. But on the bright side, our Moopies reading is off the scale. Being this is a puzzle game, I would prefer to stay sober. The hobo from the red room also liked to smear things outside. You'd think it would help here, but this spot has never been the same. If it wasn't laced with uranium, it could have been useful. That's Doug. He is a beatboxing eggplant. He likes to think he is from the vegetable patch of Biggie Smalls. I just think he is an asshole. Hey, Prosofinos. What's up, bro, Lucius? How do you stay alive? Photosynthesis, bro. Do you mind dropping some fat bitsies? Okay. <laughs> about the space cadet? Who? Hmm? All I know is that he is the local drug addict. Godolfo Ekni, 47 years old, uncomfortably apparent fetish for boxes. I guess that's him. Mm, I don't know much about him really, except he keeps asking for drugs in exchange for his boxes. Also, also blowjobs. Lots of blowjobs. Ah uh, yes. Excuse me while I drown myself in a pool of bleach. Did you consider the blowjobs? If I wasn't a drogonist, I would probably consider it. It gets awfully lonely out here. Uh, what kind of drug addict? Uh, I think his drug of choice is space dust, I think. What the hell is that? Some say it's mines from the moon, but really it's just remarketed crack. I need to know where I can find him. Well, if you find me a map or something, I'll hook you up with the bits. 
How does it feel to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? I'm actually disgusted you'd make that joke. But if you're serious, it feels pretty nutritious. How's the hustle going? The rent's due soon, and I've always wanted to try sentient eggplant. Come on, man, give us a break. There are literally only five people living here. All of them crazy. Except for you, of course. What do I need to give you again? Hit us up with some sort of map and I'll hook you up with the dates of space cadets. Laters. Peace, bro. That's my mailbox. Almost always filled with online shopping regret. God damn it, Lucas. Stop spraying your intellectual property on my property. Nope. Radioactive sludge. The gift that keeps on giving. Terrible lifelong illnesses. There's a manufacturer of face moisturizer that pays top dollar for this stuff. However, it is not the time right now to make that sweet side money. <sighs> Hey, look! I have new mail! I... uh, what? Another mailbox? I guess I'll put it in my inventory. Hey! There's something else in the second mailbox. Oh... A third mailbox? I've had enough of your games, Babushka mailbox. If there is another mailbox in here, I'm going to uninstall the game. Hey, there is a postcard in here, with a bottle of vodka. Pashevsky's vodka. The only vodka to guarantee 60% of your daily nutritional needs, and a 50% chance of unemployment. Plus, the postcard map says to press the letter M or use the slide up menu to use the map. Weird. I have this uh, Krush postcard. Will this work? Yes, I think that will work. You can find him in the bottom right in uh, Krush Forest. Also, one last thing. Don't be surprised if he's not wearing pants. Some strange stuff happens out here, man. Like the conversion of sunlight to create energy. Photosynthesis is some crazy messed up stuff, man. The sign says, Please be aware of occasional satanic rituals in the forest. And more importantly, always remember to recycle. Open bracket. Satanic rituals aren't actually satanic. They are just info sessions run by a guy named Satan. Close bracket. Yes, very spooky. Skelly. Skelly. Those are metal mushies. Unlike their hallucinogenic brethren, they simply make you headbang and mush for days without getting fatigued. The only side effect is really swallow traps. Swallow. 